Hello and welcome to Ecom Premium. Today we will see how to create a campaign for search ads. So for this you have to click on new campaign and then click on new campaign here. After opening campaign you will see that uh, you have to decide what type of campaign objective you want to start with or you can also start without choosing an campaign objective the main reason of not to select any campaign objective at the beginning is if you are much expert with google ads already and uh, when you are expert you know that which objective suits your need so you can select that objective as well Okay, here you see it's asking me for what's your campaign objective. So if you are already familiar with the default objectives created by Google Ads, then you can select from these objectives. Or you can also go with create a campaign without a goal guidance. So just click it. And from here you see that we will be starting with search campaign type. In search campaign type, you will reach customers interested in your product or service with text ads. So we will click on search type and here are a few conversion goals that you would like to achieve after starting search ads with Google search campaign type. So these are the default objectives like do you want to forward your clients via phone calls or you want to get some form submitted after your visitors visit your text ad in Google search or any platform, any network in Google. So we will be selecting like we will be removing these default. So we will be starting, okay, it's saying you can't delete at least one goal. So here you can also add goals of your one you want that and there are two goals basically by default here. So you have to click on continue. You can give your campaign a name just like first search campaign. You can also give any name because this is for your own purposes. We don't need it for Google Ads. We just need it for our own recognition. So after giving campaign name, click continue. Okay, it's saying that do you want to create a new campaign or finish a saved draft? We already built some campaigns in the draft. So we will be starting with the new one with fresh settings. So here uh, this one is a really good thing at the very beginning it's we have an option of budget and bidding. For budget let's suppose um, if you are in United States you will select definitely uh, $5, $10 budget or whatever budget you have just like if I have 10k budget in PKR currency and uh, here in budding, bidding it's asking me that uh, would you like to go with conversion, conversion value, other optimization options, clicks, impression, share. So the recommended one is conversion. So here is asking set a target cost per action. So we we will never suggest to set a target because I is saying this campaign will use the maximize conversion based strategy to help you get the most conversion for your budget. Like if you are selecting if you are going with 10k budget in PKR currency and 
is uh, making maximum conversions bid automatically like for 50 pkr per conversion so it will be good so in here we have more setting options here we have add rotation basically in add rotation rotation we are seeing that uh, uh, which one is perfect like here is saying optimize prefer best performing ads so we will be going with this one and then we will click click next here is uh, campaign settings it's asking that which networks you want to target like in search network you see here as the search our ads will be shown and in display networks here on the right side our ads will be shown so we will include both networks to have the maximum reach and now we have a location section here either you can go if you have higher budgets like in millions then you can target all countries and territories but if you want to go with some specific one like this then you can also select uh, a language like uh, if you are going with country having language Urdu or if you are going with a country like United States you will definitely select English right It's also saying on your targeted location you may want to add these languages so it's good to add English as well uh, if not you can also go without it but we will also select this one so in audience segments you see we will be defining the audiences but here you see if you don't know exactly what audience you are going to target then you can go without this one it's okay by the passage of time you will definitely understand everything regarding these must have settings or not must settings here is asking for dynamic search ad setting so we will not also make any change in it and then in more setting you see it's asking for start date and end date if you have enough budget you can continue without putting end date and you can also schedule your ad it depends on you like if you think that your audiences your targeted audience will be available from 6 a.m to 6 p.m then you can define otherwise you can in the beginning carry on with full day ad schedule so in more setting we have this thing start date end date right okay and then we have more settings option campaign url option in the campaign url option you can also give a url and then click on next Okay, here the important part comes keywords and ads ad groups help you organize your ads around a common theme for the best results focus your ads and keywords on one product or service right so here if you are going to start an ad of like uh, website development is your keyword or service like it's asking you for some product name so it can get keywords okay we have to put the url here or you can also write the keyword here web development and then you can click get keywords it will give you keywords according to this thing you have entered so here are some keywords auto generated keywords like freelance web developer python web developer so you see that we just wrote one service and it gave us 
all the keywords, targeted keywords, right? Keywords are words or phrases that are used to match your ads with the terms people are searching for. So we got the keywords. And then here in the ad, you have to write the final URL of your website. So in here, you can give your website URL. This one is our final URL. And uh, you can also give a path like blog, like services that must be available in your website, right? And in headings, you can give some headings like this. It's saying that for optional ad performance, include these keywords in your headlines. Like here, we will see, we will write best web development we have included one and then we will include front-end developer and then we will include backend developer and then we will include website company and then we will include python web development Okay, here we go we can also include description here so we'll see if there is any suggestions available for description Best design company e, e commerce services. here you see we have add strength here we can also click view ideas we can put the ideas here you can also delete if you want to delete something from here okay in the view ideas popular keywords And uh, unique headlines you see our ad strength is going up now okay it's asking for unique unique headlines <coughs> Okay, here you see we have our ad strength at good so now we will click down right okay he was an ad section is done here you can preview how your text ad will be shown so we will click next
okay here it's saying that you have to select four like minimum two side click extensions so we have created some demo side link extensions here we will select from there basically you have to put the keywords in it right and uh, some name just we did in keywords Okay, here it's saying at least to call the extension. You can also add more extensions, but we will click next now. Okay, it's saying add extensions. So we have done already. And once you are you have done with all these things, you can simply click on publish campaign, right? Once you will click on publish campaign. Your campaign will be like this, your status will be eligible, then you can click on add group and you see everything is here. So in here you can just go to our view and then you have to click on all campaigns. Okay, here you see uh, our first campaign is eligible and uh, to know the status of your campaign that is running or not, you simply have to click on your campaign here and then your ad group. And then you have to select any one ad like keyword like here you see it's saying like status is eligible you can just click on it or you can also go from here click on ads and extensions and you can see that it's saying pending under review so it will take one day maximum and your ad will be once approved. You can see it's saying that running or active or legible. So we'll go to our view. And here you see our ad is under review. So this was the tutorial on how to set up search campaign. Once your campaign is starting spending, you will see the results like here. Let me show you all the results you will be seeing. Uh, if you don't want to make it run this campaign, you can make it fast. So in future, you don't have problems regarding budgets or campaign is not running or something like that. So this is basically the thing that you can pause it we just created the campaign and then you can click on our view here you see your